Earlier on, I indicated that at, at a transnet level, uh, we will be spending for the next seven years over 307 billion uh, rents in the uh, pipelines, infrastructure, rail infrastructure, and the, and the ports infrastructure. And, and I think that, yes, it is important to, uh, to buy some ships, uh, but I would suggest that uh, we go back to basics, understand what the shipping industry is all about, from freight forwarding uh, to, to, to ships agency and all of that. Uh, there, there is big business in the maritime industry. And earlier on this morning I said that it would be useless to go and buy ships when government policy is to keep on exporting unbeneficiated raw minerals. Because it is not your ship that will be shipping the manganese, that will be shipping the iron ore or the cobalt. It will be the ship belonging to the Chinese, to the Japanese, the American buying that manganese. So industrialization, in my opinion, goes hand in hand uh, with developing and, and, and transforming the maritime industry. And we need to do both at the same time. My colleague was talking about oil and gas. I mean, one rig coming into port leaves behind at times half a billion. Just in business that is, that is done in that particular port. If you look at Noha, you look at uh, Saldana and you look at Cape Town. Uh, we are actually going to be putting in place infrastructure uh, to ensure that um, we can uh, deal with those type of uh, services. Uh, we were, however, in the, in the Ports Authority uh, disappointed that recently we went out on a tender uh, for ship repair facilities, you know, uh, large vessels up in Richards Bay. People bought tender documents, they never showed up. So uh, I think we need to be serious, and again, uh, I invite you uh, to, to come to Transnet.